NBC Sports presents Game 3 of the 1970 World Series. The National League champions, the Cincinnati Reds, versus the American League champions, the Baltimore Orioles. It's 68 degrees in Baltimore, Maryland. Extremely overcast this morning with a threat of rain, but the sun has burned off the overcast and fog. It's going to be very humid here, though, but it's a good day for baseball as the World Series now has shifted sight. Hi, everybody. I'm Kurt Gowdy of NBC Sports. Chuck Thompson, the voice of the Baltimore Orioles, roaming the stands again will be Tony Kubek of NBC. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Baltimore's Memorial Stadium for the third game of the 1970 World Series. Here are the official lineups. First, the Cincinnati Reds. Here is the manager of the Cincinnati Reds, number 10, Sparky Anderson. Batting first and playing right field, number 14, Pete Rose. Batting second and playing center field, number 28, Bobby Tolan. Batting third and playing third base, number 24, Tony Perez. Batting fourth, catching for Cincinnati, number five, Johnny Bench. Batting fifth, playing first base, number 23, Lee May. Batting sixth, playing left field, number 11, Hal McRae. Batting seventh, playing second base, number 19, Tommy Helms. Batting eighth, playing shortstop, number 13, Dave Concepcion. Batting ninth, and pitching for the Reds, number 40, Tony Cloninger in the bullpen. And here are the remaining players and coaches of the Cincinnati Reds. Alex Branis, Ted Klozuski, George Sugar, Larry Shepard, Mel Baney, Angel Bravo, Bernie Carbo, Clay Carroll, Daryl Cheney, Ty Klein, Pat Corrales, Wayne Granger, Don Dullett, Jim McLaughlin, Jim Merritt, Gary Nolan, Wayne Stewart, Ray Washburn, Milt Wilcott, Woody Woodward, the National League champion, Cincinnati Reds. for the American League champion, the Baltimore Orioles. Here is the manager of the Baltimore Orioles, number four, Earl Weaver. <laughs> Batting first, playing left field, number nine, Don Buford. Batting second, playing shortstop, number seven, Mark Belanger. Batting third, playing first base, number 26, Boog Powell. Batting fourth, playing right field, number 20, Frank Robinson. Batting fifth, playing center field, number six, Paul Blair. Batting six, playing third base, number five, Batting seventh, playing second base, number 15, Dave Johnson. Batting eighth, catching for Baltimore, number eight, Andy Etcheverin. 
Batting ninth, and pitching for the Orioles this afternoon, number 19, Dave McNally, on the sideline. And here are the remaining players and coaches of the Baltimore Orioles. George Bamberger, Jim Fry, Billy Hunter, George Stoller, Terry Crowley, Mike Cuellar, Poe Drabowski, Bobby Rich, Dick Paul, Jim Harden, Elrod Hendricks, Dave Leonard, Marcelino Lopez, Kurt Moten, Jim Palmer, Tom Phoebus, Merv Redmond, Pete Rickert, Chico Salmon, Eddie Watt, the American League champion, Baltimore Orioles. It's a very aggressive hitter. Would you believe that? Well, this, this guy's in another world. I mean, he's unbelievable. Watch this play by Brooks Robinson. He says he goes to his left better. You'd have to believe him, although he's made two great plays to his right. Look at that. The outstanding reflexes are what make a third baseman, and he has them. So at the middle of the sixth inning, the score is Baltimore 4, Cincinnati 1. Here's again, Robinson poised and ready. Ball hit like a bullet to him. And those instant reflexes. He's not fast, but for a step or two, he's...